not sure if I really want to do this, you know. Oh, you'll love it. National Museum Photography Film and Television. <laughs> Trust me. Hey, 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 aren't we forgetting something? For what we're about to receive, may the Lord make us truly thankful. Amen. Dig in. What about Vic? Should I take him something through in the shop? No, I'll be giving him a break in a minute. He's going to miss you when you're gone, isn't he? How do you mean? In the shop. Still, there's plenty looking for a job these days. He must have known you'd be moving out as soon as I was released. Look, don't you worry about a thing. I'm back and everybody's going to get taken care of. So. I just want to smell the breeze, that's all. When can I go back to the cottage? In a day or so. It must be an estate. Yeah, cottage is fine. We just thought the farm would suit you better until you... Until I got used to Leonard's death. No. I don't suppose you'll ever get used to that, Ma, but... You know what I mean. I don't want to be a burden, that's all. Don't worry, you won't be. Our Jack and Sarah will find you plenty to do. Not with a wedding and everything. Come and call at the cottage on the way to the farm. I'd like to take a look at it. Of course we can. I'm pleased they decided to get married at last. And they're delighted you're going to be there as a guest of honour. I don't want any fuss making. George. <laughs> the cheque's arrived. <laughs> yes, as you say, in the nick of time, huh? Uh, if we could uh, just uh, give it a few days for it to clear, then I can uh, sort out my little problem with you. Today? Uh, no, 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 no. No problem at all. No! Uh, <clears throat> I'll see you there uh, later on. OK, thank you. It's drifted for nearly a week now. I feel like I'm walking around on eggshells. I just don't know what to do for the best. I don't want Scott getting upset. But, yeah, something's got to be done. It's down to me, isn't it? No. You know what he is. I know what he is. How could I forget what he is? You don't get put away where he was for nicking milk bottles off doorsteps. We should talk to the police. Oh, no, I can't do that. What will Scott think of me? Well, I'm not saying... Get Reg carted off in front of the kids, but while he's on parole, he's their responsibility. Oh, what can I do? Straightforward thing. I'll keep him humoured. You go to the police. Um, listen, I've been thinking about this wedding you've been invited to. Oh, yeah? Well, my first reaction was that it should be me that escorted you to it, but, um, on second thoughts, I decided you and Vic can go. Oh, right, Reg. After all, that's how this community knows you and the kids, and especially Scott. And we don't want to do anything to upset him, do we? No. <laughs> Which is another reason why I think it's a good idea that Viv, Scott and me go back down south to the community that knows us as a family. I mean, you can see that makes sense, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, put like that. But, uh, you know, what will people think of Viv? Having moved away with me while you were inside, like? Well, that's obvious, isn't it? Well, no. Well, she had to turn somewhere when I was taken away. I'd do what was right for Scott, you know, take him away from the gossip. Oh, yeah. But people will understand. Right or wrong, they'll find it in their hearts to forgive. The Lord will see to that. So, uh, when are you thinking of moving, then? Oh, soon. I know there's details to sort out and, uh, well, we'll all have to stay in touch. Go and talk to the police. And soon. Thank you. But this isn't a home. Does it matter? Of course it doesn't. Your grand's home is wherever her family is. Well, what do you think? Uh, I think that's the icing on the cake. No, I think it's smashing. 
I'm marrying a great cook. Well, more of a crook than a cook. I bought it and iced it, but don't tell your mum. Oh, I don't think she'll worry about that. I mean, I never thought she'd get out of the hospital. Well, she is, and it's the best wedding present we could have. Oh. Yeah, her as well. <laughs> Alga! It's the day you just want to bottle and keep forever. <sighs> yeah. Annie's coming home. We've got our wedding to look forward to. Robert's delighted with the baby, and the icing's even stayed on the cake. A day is miraculous, if there is such a thing. Well, if there isn't, you've just invented it. All we've got to do now is stop the health and safety prosecuting us. Oh, not now, Jack. We'll face it when it happens, and we'll manage. We're going to put the past behind us, not worry about the future, mm -hmm. and enjoy the present. Get some shopping. Can I come with me? No. Oh, come on, fresh air will do you good. I'm watching this. What is it? Don't know. <sighs> Chris, you haven't been through that door for three days. You've got to get out and have a change. Change to what? A man that can walk? <sighs> Why do you keep torturing yourself and me? I'm merely stating a fact, that's all. The fact is, you have to lighten up on us both. All right, you can't walk. You're a damn sight better off than a lot of people who can. And how do you work that out, then? You're getting a custom-made bungalow built for you, you lack for nothing, and you've got people who care for you. Stuck with me, more like. Care for you. Come on, let's do the shopping and then see how the bungalow's progressing, huh? Told you I'm watching this. Why do you need to go shopping anyway? I thought we lacked for nothing. I still haven't got a wedding present for Jack and Sarah. Any ideas? No. Hiya. Hi. Mm. Hi. Hi. Oh, no, how can it? <laughs> Never seen her move so fast. Yeah, she's in a much better mood lately, too. I think she's finally over that Biff affair. Oh, well, let's hope so. Mm. We haven't got anything planned for later, have we? I haven't. Unless I decide to bake some more bread, or mend a dry stone wall, or dig a well. <laughs> no, no, I've got nothing. Why? It's just that Sarah's asked a few of us out for a drink, and oh. it is not a hen night, so I don't want any mention of the nobbies. <laughs> and I'm not telling anything to the kids. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, that's no problem. I'll be happy to do it. Yeah, all right. See you later then, Lynn. Bye. Happy to do what? Oh, Lynn White has asked me to babysit for her tonight. I said I would. Um, what about your homework? Oh, I'll take it with me. Right, I better go and get changed and have a bath then. Yeah, and don't use up all the hot water. I have to think how much electricity we must be using. Well, I don't think one bath is going to break us, Dad. Turn the immersion off afterwards. So, you're in for a wild night, no, are you? Definitely not. <laughs> It's just that I like Sarah, and with us going to the wedding. Oh, don't be so apologetic. Go on, you go out and enjoy yourself. Now, that's what weddings are supposed to be all about. Hi. You've been longer than I thought. Yeah, I ended up driving over to Skipdale. I wish you'd come with me. I love the spring, everything coming back to life, and the new lambs in the fields. The season of optimism, eh? Yeah. How about coming down to the war pack tonight? Sarah's asked me to have a drink with her. What do you reckon? Look, I may not be a complete man anymore, but I don't think I'm ready to go to hen parties. Down, Chris. Come on, have a drink to wish them well. I bought them a walk. What do you think? Oh, show a bit of interest. At least when they thank us, remember what it is. Won't be there to be thanked. What do you mean? I'm not going to the wedding. I can't see myself going anywhere anymore. Grand's here! What did you say? Grandma's here! Oh, oh right. Come on. Hang on, put your chair up. Hello, Robert. Nice to see you. Welcome home, Ma. Oh, nice to be here. Uh, I don't think we're making a fuss. I hope you haven't got a house full of people. Oh, you're hardly out of the car, Ma. You're telling me off already. <laughs> no, and it's great to be able to do it. You get that other one, Robert. How right are up. you, Annie? Glad to be here. Right. Right. All right, Joe. Yeah. 
Your seat not fastened. <laughs> Off we go. Gotcha. Let me have a look for a moment, Jack. Okay. Yep. Be getting back soon. Oh, we've still got a lot more to see. Oh, for someone who wasn't very keen to come, you've been very impressed. Oh, it's not what I expected. When he said museum, I just thought it'd be boring. Ah, oh, <laughs> tell the truth, you'd be having a calculus lesson in the middle of the moors at midnight, and you'd still find it fascinating. Because you're with me. <laughs> you big-headed <laughs> southerner! Oh, wow, just what I've always wanted to do. The village of Emmerdale, eh? It'll take some getting used to. You do know why it's being renamed, though, don't you, Ma? I know there was a plane crash. I know there was a terrible disaster. I'm not sure I want to know the rest of the details. Just take it easy, one step at a time. Yes, and the first step is to get you two married. Yeah. She's finally making an honest man of him. <laughs> In the year of the family. I thought you didn't like doing the Australian pools. Well, I don't like doing them as much as ours. It would be nice to win, though, wouldn't it? Not much chance of that, though, is there? You must know less about their teams than ours. Oh, I always do the same numbers. So it's about as skillful as me owning premium bonds, is it? Exactly. <sighs> right, I'll be off then. Got your homework? Oh, yeah, it's in here. Uh, are you going past the post office? Oh, what do you want? Post that for me. Well, now you don't have to do anything complicated like buy a stamp. I'm going to be late. Bye. Yeah, see you later. If only she was so anxious not to be late for school. <laughs> I think we should expand on the magazines. I mean, as long as they're on a sale or return basis, what have we got to lose? The demand for magazines around here is quite specialised. Well, maybe the locals need educating into buying them, but as I say, we can't go wrong. Vic, hiya. Did you get a chance to find out about my little idea? Oh, I'm still making inquiries, Rich. What was that, then? Well, I suggested Vic get in touch with the coach company, see if this could be... Like a local agency, a booking and pick-up point for tourists. Yeah? Listen, I've had a bit of bad news, Ridge. What was that? Well, the police stopped me when I was out. Nothing gets past them up here. It's such a small community. And they asked me if you were staying here. Well, it's a free country. What's the problem? Yeah, well, <clears throat> apparently it's got something to do with uh, you still being on parole and this being a post office. Well, you mean I'm not allowed to be here? Apparently not. Well, that's typical, isn't it? I've done my time, paid my dues, and yet still I'm victimised. Still, I've said I'll play by the rules from now on. Viv, this is just a temporary setback, but it looks like I'll have to move out. I can't jeopardise the business by staying here. Where will you go? Oh, don't worry about me. Actually, it's probably a blessing in disguise. It was all a chance to get our heads together. Especially you, Vic. This must have been more of an upset for you than for anybody. But you've been really great about it. Vic the Brick, eh? <laughs> when are you going to go, Reg? Straight away. I'll get my stuff. But don't worry. I'll be back. Is that true? about staying in a post office when you're on parole? I haven't a clue, but it sounded good though, didn't it? Brilliant! Not a permanent solution, but brilliant! What did the police say? Well, they can't do nothing unless he commits a crime. So we're gonna have to think of something more permanent when he's away. Oh, thank God he's moving out. Yeah. Good idea about the coaches, though. Are you 
sure you don't mind me going out tonight? No, not at all. Who are you going with? Me, Cathy and Carrot and Viv. That's all. Hardly the wild bunch. I remember the last time you went out with that lot and... What were the names? The Nobbies. And we won't be seeing them tonight or ever again, I expect. Quite right. Not the sort of place for a respectable married woman. <laughs> Mrs. Sarah Sugden. A respectable married woman. Honeymoon in Paris. The works. Protesters along the Champs-Elysees. Oh, you've always got to have something to worry about. Well, I'm a farmer. Do you remember that night you came to the sports club for me? The Nobby's night? Yeah. How could I forget it? I thought we were going to lose Ma that night. I really did. <sighs> well, she's back with us now. Mm. She hasn't talked about Mark yet. Somebody ought to have a word with her about him. All in good time. It's her first day out of hospital. She's talking about Leonard, but she's got to deal with the information a bit at a time. Yeah, I expect you're right. How is she? Sleeping like a baby. Oh, that'll do her the world of good. So where's the hen party tonight, then? It isn't a hen party. It's just a quiet drink at the Woolpack. Oh, I'll see you there, then. You don't mind, I'm popping down to see Michael. No, you'll get enough time in when we're away. Have one for me. I certainly will. Um, had a little chat to Ma before she went to sleep. About Mark. Yeah, well, she needs to know. Yeah, but she doesn't know yet, though, that it was my fault. No, Joe, it was not your fault. An East European aircraft, badly maintained, fell out of the sky and killed him. Accidental death, like the inquest said. Yeah, but if I hadn't made him take back that vacuum cleaner to Lynn White... Yeah, but he could have been in the wine bar, or on the road, or up the hill with Archie. It was an accident. Jack's right. You've got nothing to blame yourself for. Yes, OK, I understand. When are you picking up the rest of your stuff? Michael, that call concerns you. Oh, yeah, who was it then? Frank Tate. I'm being pressured to move out by next week. I've told him we'll comply with his wishes. So, have you got somewhere to go? Not really, but I shouldn't think you've any need to worry about accommodation. Oh, and why do you say that? Well, with a bit of luck, you'll be a guest of Her Majesty's prisons this time next week. Ha. Huh. George? Eric. Ha. Um, I'll meet you in uh, half an hour, if that's OK. All right. Thanks very much. Bye. Thank you. Lynn's very late, isn't she? Oh, she isn't coming. Little Peter's not very well. She doesn't want to leave him. Oh, what a shame. She was looking forward to it. Why did you say that? Well, she called Jessica earlier and asked her to babysit. Oh, well, as far as I knew, he'd been bad for a few days. Oh. Um, well, maybe he felt a bit better earlier. Yes, maybe. I don't think so, though. She told me before she wasn't coming out. Sounds as if your Jessica's got a bloke. <laughs> well, if she has, don't be too hard on her, eh? I expect we've all done something like it in our time. Mm. I expect we've all suffered the consequences as well. I did the classic once. Climbed out my bedroom window and down a drain pipe. <laughs> you did? I did. <laughs> Came away from the wall, I sprained my ankle and had to pretend I'd done it in games at school. <laughs> Sounds like you're a bit of a tear away. Ah, but your past will come back to haunt you. Be warned. <laughs> so the only concrete evidence you've got is this photograph, right? Yeah. Well, I reckon it's the key to something. And you haven't done anything about it, like gone to see the photographer or whatever? I've made a phone call and I've arranged to go down there. Look, are you with me? Well, let's just say I, I might go with you, but let's get the wedding out of the way first, OK? I'm really grateful for your support, Joe. Well, someone's got to listen to you, Michael. I mean, you've been talking about Eric Pollard for so long, you're driving me up the wall. But listen, just take it easy, OK? None of your Rambo stuff. History. I just wondered. It's something I'll never be able to experience. Thinking you're pregnant is not something you're missing out on, believe me. Yeah, not at your age. Especially not with Biff as a father. Does it bother you, knowing I slept with Biff? No, why should it? Well, you know... You don't want me thinking you're easy? Well, yeah. Well, I don't. Especially as it wouldn't be for me, either. You mean... you still...
finally made it then. Get in, Eric. Why couldn't we have arranged to meet in the pub? We're stuck out of here for over an hour. You're playing with the big boys now. And by our rules. The check, please. I think that'll meet with your satisfaction. It's just a worthless piece of paper at the moment. If and when it converts to cash in three days, then I'll be satisfied. And the, uh, the next stage of the deal? <laughs> you'll be told, you'll be told. Another of your rules, I suppose. Mm, you could say. Oh, when do I get a copy, then? <laughs> of the rule book, eh? I just hope you're up to this, Eric. <laughs> no need to worry about me, George. Not unless you don't come up with the goods when it does convert to cash. Nice evening. Yeah, nice and quiet. Peter was no trouble. Is he feeling any better? Why do you ask? I've been down to the wool pack with Sarah and some others. I asked why Lynn wasn't there and was told she stayed to look after Peter. Where were you, Jessica? And don't bother lying to us, please. Look, a couple of girls from school wanted me to go out with them. I knew you wouldn't let me, so I just made it up about going to babysit. And was Biff there? No, it was just a couple of girls from school. Fine, so if you gave me their names and telephone numbers, they'd confirm your story. Yes, they would, but I'm not going to, because you just make a fool of me. I'm sick of being treated like a little kid you don't Don't raise trust. your voice at us, please. Yeah, but it's true. I'm 16, I've been engaged. I shouldn't have to tell you where I am the whole time. Yes, you do. It's our duty to know where you are and who you are with. Yeah, well, I've got a life of my own. And what if I was with Biff? That's my business. No, it isn't. It's our business. Go on, get to bed, get out of my sight. We'll talk about this in the morning. But why do you treat me like a little kid and Luke can get away with anything? I told you we would discuss this in the morning. Good night, Jessica. I should be getting home. Soon. How was the curry? Lovely. You should have tasted some. It's not too late. It is. I've eaten it all. But I can still taste it on your lips. Mm. <laughs> 